All right, so in this problem, I have five to the power of x is equal to seven. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the log on both sides. So now I have log five to the power of x is equal to log seven. Now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can simply move this exponent b to the front. So this is gonna equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log five to the power of x. So I can move x to the front. So now I'm gonna have x times log five is equal to log seven. Now, to simplify this, the value of log five this is equal to approximately 0 0.8451. And, or sorry, log five, this is actually equal to 0 0.6990. And log seven, this is equal to 0 0.8451. So these are my two values for lock five and lock seven. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first start by dividing both sides by log five. So then these two cancel out. And now I'm gonna be left with x is equal to log seven over log five. Now, I know that log seven, this is equal to 0 0.8451. And log five, this is equal to 0 0.6990. So now I have 0 0.8451 over 0 0.6990, which is equal to 1.2090. So this is my answer. So now to check, first start with five to the power of x equals seven. I know that x equals 1.2090. So I have five to the power of 1.2090 is equal to seven. Now five to the power of 1.2090, that's equal to approximately 6.99. So I have 6.99 equals seven. And 6.99 rounds up to 7, so I have 7 equals 7. And because this is right, my solution is right. Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this algebraic equation. Now, make sure to stick at the end of the video, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. All right, so I have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. So I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, first start with x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. So now, from x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2, I'm actually going to factor out x to the power of 2. So now I have x to the power of two times. Well, x to the power of three divided by x to the power of two is simply just x plus x to the power of two divided by x to the power of two is one. So I have x to the power of two times x plus one plus simply all I'm left with is x plus one. So this is equal to zero. Now, if I factor out x plus one from this, I get x plus one times x squared plus one is equal to zero. So from here, I get two equations. I have x plus one is equal to zero, and I have x squared plus one is equal to zero. So for x plus one equals zero, simply subtract one on both sides, these two cancel out. Now I'm left with x is equal to negative one. So this is one solution of x. Now for x squared plus one equals zero, 
I'm going to first start by subtracting one on both sides. So now these two ones cancel out, and now I have x squared is equal to negative 1. Well, now I'm going to take the square root on both sides. So now I have the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of negative 1. Now, the square root of x squared, that's simply equal to x. So if x equals the square root of negative 1, well, it's actually pos positive or negative square root of negative 1. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1 is actually equal to i, the imaginary number i. So now, if I replace the square root of negative 1 with i, I get x is equal to positive or negative i. So my three solutions to this problem are negative 1, i, and negative i. Sorry, negative i. So these are my solutions. All right, so in this problem, I have 5 to the power of 1,000 minus 5 to the power of 998. So, to solve this, I'm going to first substitute in 1,000, or sorry, I'm going to first change 1,000 to 998 plus 2, because 1,000 equals 998 plus 2. So, I have 5 to the power of 998 plus 2 minus 5 to the power of 998. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 5 to the power of 998 plus 2, this is going to equal 5 to the power of 998 times 5 to the power of 2. And I have this minus 5 to the power of 998. So now, I'm going to factor out 5 to the power of 998. So now I have 5 to the power of 998 times 5 to the power of 2 minus 1. And 5 to the power of 2, that's simply equal to 25. So I have 5 to the power of 998 times 25 minus 1. And 25 minus 1 is 24. So I'm left with 5 to the power of 998 times 24, which can also be written as 5 to the power of 98 times 24. So this is my answer. Now I actually have a second method of solving this problem. So again, I first start with 5 to the power of 1,000 minus 5 to the power of 998. Now, in this, this time, instead of changing 1,000, I'm going to change 998 to 5 to the power of 1,000 minus 2. And now this is the same thing as 5 to the power of 1,000 plus negative 2. Now, remember, if I have something to form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 5 to the power of 1,000 plus negative 2, that's going to equal 5 to the power of 1,000 times 5 to the power of negative 2. Now from here, I can go ahead and factor out 5 to the power of 1,000. So I have 5 to the power of 1,000 times 1 minus 5 to the power of negative 2. Now, this is the same thing as 5 to the power of 1,000 times 1 minus 1 over 25. And 1 minus 1 over 25, that's going to equal 24 over 25. So I have 5 to the power of 1,000 times 24 over 25. So this is my answer. 